Hi, welcome to This Is Your Spotlight Season 3. Hey, I've made the- it three seasons. Dios mío. Oh my God, dude. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. I did it. Mama did it. Congratulations. All right. So I am here with, if you don't know who she is, then I'm sorry you must have lived under a rock and the pandemic was equally hard for everybody, but for you especially. So I am here with the eclectic, vivacious, <laughs> absolutely delightful <laughs> Rita, aka Little Sasson Packet. Welcome to This Is Your Spotlight. I get to meet us. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh my Hi. goodness. I want to get so much credit for my cousins because there's some uh, cousins of mine that like your stuff. Oh, get your spot. Thank you. I always get taken oh. back when people tell me that. I'm just, I'd be like, yes, yes, yes. I, I laugh at my cousins. I'm like, really? Really, though? Mm. <laughs> That's cute. Yes. So um, I'm so happy you're doing the show. Thank you so much for being here. No, thank you for reaching out to me. I appreciate it. I do. No, of course. Of course. Here we try to uplift and support and somewhat empower people to do things that they've done and continue to do for the community. Mm-hmm. So um, a little background about yourself, if you will, aside from my introduction. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. Um, I am Puerto Rican. Live mm-hmm. in the Bronx. BX all day. <laughs> all right. Hello. Okay, cool. Um, I come from a, pa- a family of professional dancers. Oh, so wow. So entertainment has always been in the blood. Yeah, my parents are professional salsa dancers. Nice. They're known as the Mambo King and Queen. So I kind of grew up with like the stage and salsa and Tito Fuente and all that always around. And so I think that that's the reason why <laughs> the drama <laughs> and the trauma came out, truly. So yeah, I just took to... Mm-hmm. social media probably maybe like two years ago i started taking it serious mm-hmm. i had a rant go crazy viral with the, i'm crazy for no reason and next thing you know it was like oh i could really do this and so here we are yeah yes um i think the one that really caught my attention was i think it was that one that you that's said the one basically that um <laughs> she said Oh, you wanted to tickle me almost. So tickle me almost. <laughs> la, la, la. And I was just like, I kid you not. That rant, that rant to me is so special to me because it was the one rant that I did not think nothing of. I was in the middle of watching a show. The idea came to me of being like, yo, I'm not crazy for no reason. Do you mind oh. if I take my cat out the room? Could you, All right, so what do you have a cat? Huh? I have two, Michael Katzen and Jack Katzen. Oh, sweet. I'm obsessed with Michael Jackson. It's the whole thing. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so with the I'm crazy rant, I was watching a show. The idea popped up to be like, man, I'm not crazy for no reason. And I was like, oh, pink light went off. So I put on a shirt, a dress that I had that I was like, yo, this looks like a warning label. I'm about to just do this. <laughs> I put it up next to my coffee machine, did the rant posted it up it got like 10 views in like six hours and i was like okay whatever (laughs) i thought it was funny and then the next i think two days later it shot up and it shot up to like ten thousand views and i was like oh ten thousand who am i and then the hundred thousand then the million then i started seeing it posted on other pages so in total it's accumulated over a hundred million views and that rant always makes me feel like damn <laughs> like i didn't think nothing i didn't think nothing of you and I, it, I always get i'm so honored and i get so taken aback when people say yo i relate to your videos and you make me laugh and that's that's what i do it for i do it for people to be able to see someone that they feel like yo i, I relate to her like she's not she doesn't make herself seem like almost untouchable where it's just like only a certain class right could, could right be around them you know what i'm saying like it's more like yeah. now nah, this is for everyone whatever caliber feel how you feel about it so then we kept going from then on and that's important to be honest with you because sometimes you know 
in this wacky world with social media, there has been studies done that social media does, you know, link to depression because people get so addicted to the likes and to the oh, yeah. reshares and to the reposts, and you're like, coño, mm-hmm. you're like, dang. I tell everybody who's interested in, in pursuing social media to don't get attached to the, to the love just as much as you can't get attached to the hate because both can end a change from one day to another. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Love you one day and then hate you the next. So if you get stuck there and you get stuck on being like, oh, I need to have a certain amount of likes or a certain amount of comments of people liking it, the next day the same people that will be like, oh, my God, you're so great. You're so this will be the same ones bashing you tomorrow. So don't get attached to it. If you're going to do social media, do it because – you have a genuine love for entertainment. It may hit, it may not hit. You know, I've been mm-hmm. doing social media for probably around six to seven years now. And oh, wow. I only started hitting last year. So I was mm-hmm. be persistent. And if you're going to do it, do it out of a genuine love for it. Don't do it to try to get viral quick because it may or may not happen. Or you may mm-hmm. end up doing something stupid to get famous, like licking ice cream. Oh, we don't need more of that. If that's the kind of content you want to do, stay home. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Put the turn the camera off because we're not doing that. Or tying, you know, the stem of a cherry with your tongue. That's just talent, like, I guess. Like, come on, we was doing that in middle school. Okay. <laughs> like what? No. Stop. Not today. Yeah. But um, what's this thing called? What I like is that you have a good um, body positivity and self-acceptance message. I, I, and, you know, past the hundreds of comments that you get, oh, damn, you cute. Oh, damn, you sexy. It's just like, yeah, thank you. I was trying <laughs> to tell people to, to love themselves and embrace themselves uh-huh. for all that you are. <laughs> thanks for a compliment though i appreciate you here's 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 my one take when it comes to being body positive i and i mean this from the bottom of my heart you get this one life this one life and you do not know how long you have in this one life so why are you going to spend it hating yourself oh that absolutely. doesn't make any sense to me and don't okay, get me wrong okay. i think we've all been through a phase where we didn't like something and i'm all about if you want to if you don't like something i'm open to people changing it i don't sit there and bash people who do their makeup. I don't sit there and bash people who do cosmetic surgery. The only thing I tell people is like, if you get something done, be honest about it. Like if you walking out here with a BBL, don't be out here making gym videos. Fuck it. For what? You're over here squatting five pounds. We know that's not how you got your Bugs Life ass. Just put your doctor's number up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like body people, I think people need to understand what body positivity is like just loving yourself. And if you want to change something, by all means do so, but don't ever sit there and either compare to somebody else, crap on anyone else, or, you know, try to sell something that's not, that's not real. Be, be vocal about it. You know? Very, very true. Um, do you ever get offers to collaborate on like content with other creators? I do. I get, I get people who want to collaborate. I used to collaborate with, with creators before. I still, I'm open to collaborations because again, I love, I think the whole point of having a platform is to be able to put other people on. Exactly, I don't yeah. like gatekeepers. I don't like it when people, mm-hmm. I, 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 I truly mean it. I think a lot, especially for some reason, Latinos have a tendency of doing it is if one breaks through the door, they kind of like, well, I made it and I struggled to get here. So the advice they give other people is like work hard. It's like, that's half-assed advice and you know it. Like, work there's it's more than just work hard like so i'd love to collaborate with people i get offers all the time um i've gotten collaboration offers that i've turned down because again you have to know who you can and will and will not vibe with or like if there's content that they want me to do like i've gotten collaboration offers where they're like yeah i want you to like twerk in my video and just shake that fat booty and it's like i'm good i don't give a damn about your platform like that like you good my guy you'll find somebody who does that not over here. I'm a, if I shake my booties for, for me, <laughs> if I'm going to be here rocking these Selena hips, it's going to be on my profile. You know? So. Yeah. Like, my problem is for me personally, I have not been under the category of influencer just quite yet, mm-hmm. nor do I plan to be either. Yeah. And it's interesting because, like, <sighs> Like I have this television show, this show, I just launched a podcast for this, for the show mm-hmm. and I do open mics, 
But at the open mics, I'm very relaxed and I'm not like, you know, intentionally try to be crazy funny and, you know, Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I do the content to keep myself Mm -hmm. out there. I kind of do it for me, but then I also do it to kind of spread the message of community spread the message of, you know, people and that, you know, we are doing things that will eventually, you know, outlive us, but it will be our kind of maybe blueprint, maybe legacy of some sort. Mm -hmm. It'll be something, you know? Yeah. You want to leave a a footprint for people. Exactly. Say I was here. Yeah. So um, that was kind of like the reason why I, you know, I do stuff like this and Mm -hmm. things like that. I try to at least. Yeah. And it's funny because especially I'll tell you as a filmmaker, Mm -hmm. girl, I've seen other people's work and I'm just like, it's so simple. Really? Listen, okay. that's, that's the one thing I'll say as an artist. Um, no, no, but it's not like a critique on them. It's just yeah. more like, it's so simple. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I like a little bit of a challenge. Just a bit. When it comes to, and I, people could take this the wrong way, but I, I don't mean it in the wrong way. There's a lot of times like, I don't kind of, I don't necessarily, at least for me as a, as a content creator, which is different than being like, you know, a producer where you're seeing what's out there. Yeah. There's a lot of times I don't necessarily watch anyone else's content um, that are doing what I'm doing just so I don't get into a habit of comparing myself if I'm in that phase. Cause I know that with me, it's so as a content creator, again, I wouldn't know it as a director, but it's so easy to get caught up on like, especially if you've been busting your butt for so long. And then somebody else, it seems like an overnight success. You might get like, yo, <laughs> this, yeah. this went viral. You serious right now? But I'm sure somebody's done that with my videos. You know what I'm saying? And so mm-hmm. I have a, I, as a content creator, as I try to, uh, if people come to me, like, like I, we talked about collaborations, they want to work. I'll check out your stuff. Let's work. Or like, if I see somebody with potential that I think is great, I'll share them without being like, oh, I only follow for follow kind of thing. Like I'll share them because I'm like, I think you're great. And I, I, if I can help in any way to push you forward, but the climate for today, I'm telling you, it's so it's competitive in almost an unhealthy way. Like it's more, uh, it's competitive out of jealousy instead of competitive as like, I want to bring out the best in me and you should bring out the best in you. And <laughs> let's have multiple people, especially people of color out here yeah. doing this really well, you know? <clears throat> yeah, it's true. It's really weird though. <clears throat> Especially like um it's weird like what's funny nowadays because it borders on mal the malicious mm-hmm. and it borders on cruelty sometimes. Mm-hmm. And half the time I'm just like, yeah, that's not funny. That's actually kind of messed up. I think <laughs> I think humor there's I think there's humor for everybody. I think what the thing that we've lost when it comes to comedy is the right to, I think people just don't scroll past what they don't like. There's people like, again, there's, there's times I look at my old videos and I'm like, damn, yo, I thought that was funny. I don't know why last month, last month that cracked me up. And now I'm like, I really posted this. So it's like humor to me is, is different for everybody. And if you don't like something, I'm a big advocate, but just scroll past it. I think the internet has given too many people a platform to feel like, I can let you know, I didn't like this. And it's like, or, or. <coughs> yeah, for real, I'm like, what? Just, Scroll past it. <laughs> no, my goodness. Like, I think the worst thing we can do nowadays is the comment section. Don't look yeah. at the comment section. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't look at the comments. Listen, section. don't look at the comment section unless you have a drink on the side, <laughs> a box of tissues, <laughs> some an acid afterwards. I get, I get, I get a lot of hate on my page, and I tell people, argue with your therapist. <laughs> I'm not about to argue with you. I said what I said in the video. You don't have to like it, but you found my page. If you don't like it, argue with your therapist about it. I'm not about to stay here and go back and forth with you for 95 days because you feel some type of way. She said 95 days. It would have been an hour argument. Bye. No, because I used to. I used to be there. I remember. I remember it was one day I was going back and forth with people for four hours. When I first went viral and I was starting to like learn about that, I had people come and say some reckless stuff on my page and the spicy Latina came out. I was like, oh, oh you said what? <laughs> and I was there for four hours. And I, at the end of it, I was like, 
baby, that was stupid. <laughs> That was, it's like your thumbs ain't hurt or nothing. That was stupid. What, we, what was you going back? I, you don't argue with people that they're going to believe what they believe regardless. They have no Absolutely. factual basis. They're mm -hmm. not here trying to hear your opinion. They just want right. to say what they have to say. Exactly. It's like, you know, when people talk crap about celebrities. I'm like, have you ever met this person? And yeah. Is there any possibility of you meeting the person? Mm -hmm. The answer is probably a big resounding no. Yeah. So entonces. Yeah. yeah. I used to, I used to, I'm not gonna hold you. I used to jump on that train too. Like I used to be all up in the shade room and all up in these like world stars. And if something happened, but oh my God, they did this. And then I realized, like, yo, at the end of the day, if somebody shined a flashlight on my life or anyone's life, I'm sure there's stuff that we've all done that we regret. So it's like, why am I going to sit here and blast you exactly. about something you said 20 years ago or did mm -hmm. when I'm sure we've all done stuff that we regret and we've changed our lives from. So yeah, no, I don't, exactly. I'm not going to sit here. Like, I don't keep up the card. I've never seen an episode of the Kardashians. If I don't like anything it, about it's them. It's okay. I saw it maybe a few <laughs> times and it's literally in like fragments. Yeah. But, but I, I have to watch watched the I entire have, episode. I have no issue with them. I've, I've learned. I, I Before, I used to be one of those people who used to jump on the train with them and be like, I don't like them, and you need to know why I don't like you, and you did this, and you did that. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know these people. And like you said, that's a big thing. You don't know these people personally. You don't know the industry and what, like, the dark side mm -hmm. of the industry and a lot of stuff that, mm -hmm. you know, people deal with. And at the end of the day, is it worth it? Is it mm -hmm. worth it to go up there and say something to make somebody want to hate themselves? No. Mm -hmm. I only match that energy now if they come to my page with that energy. Because then it's like, you asked for this. <laughs> you came here, my boy. <laughs> it's like, you came to see me. And I will tell Max, you who, If you who rang I this am. doorbell, don't be upset if I open the door. Don't play you know, victim. No, I, I might be there with a baseball bar machete. It depends That's on what kind of mood you just <laughs> caught me. <laughs> I, I believe if you have a right to react, I got a right to respond. Hello, goodbye. Exactly. <laughs> that's what they don't want to tell you. And that's why they don't want you to say your piece. So let's, let me show a couple of videos um, pertaining to what, her influence on the, on the World Wide Web, on the okay. internet. The internet is very cruel plus. So here. So Ms. Rita has a lot of stuff here. Thank so you. we're going to just play, you know, something nice. But this is this is I like when she talks about I'm gonna look good for cheap, and I was like, you know what, she does. That's amazing. Like I wouldn't spend the time to do all that, but you know what? <laughs> I give it to you. So here Rita, we go. I don't ever let nobody convince you that you can't look good but cheap. Okay, this dress like forty dollars, and I could have got it from cheaper, but it's from H and M. This ring a hundred dollars. These earrings like two dollars. Let me tell you, the most expensive thing on me is my personality because that cost me my mental health. Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, of course, preferences. We're talking about, you know, positivity. So this is a good one. Mira, everybody's entitled to your preferences. You can like what you like. Just don't be coming to my page. Tell me what you like. If what you like is not on the menu. Okay? Mira. <laughs> so, yes. I am the pride and joy of my family. <laughs> So um, her handle is Little Sasson Packet. Okay, where did the name come from? Okay, funny enough, Little Sasson Packet came from, I used to go to battle rap events. Ah, okay. And when I used to go to battle rap events, I was just, I was always a fan of lyricism. And so I felt like rap started to become like, bop, hop, stop. And I was like, yo, that's not rap. <laughs> that's. ABC stuff. So I was like, where can I get real like lyricism? So I started watching spoken words and I started watching battle rap and then I started going to events and I got known for making facial expressions at the bars. Like people would say a bar that I thought was fire and I would have the only staying face. I would be there like, <laughs> and so because it started bringing traction, like, like people started to be like, yo, who's that girl with the face? They started inviting who's me. Who's that girl with the face? Yeah. Seriously, I got oh my God. Like, Talvaje. <laughs> the girl the girl who makes the facial expressions and so i started they started inviting me out league started being like yo you have to be there you have to be up front 
And so I got cool with a whole bunch of people. And I, I remember one time I was talking to a battler who was like, yo, you're going to be in the front, right? And I was like, yeah, you guys need a little Latin spice there. He was like, yeah, you're like a little Sasson packet. And I was like, and that was it. I was like, I oh, am wow. like a little Sasson packet. And so Aww. that that's what started it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So what do you hope will be your grain in the sand? Your contribution? Honestly? Um, I don't look at, I think the greatest thing that I can do, I feel like I've done it in the sense of, I really, I get pride and joy when people send me messages and they're like, yo, I got to laugh from what you did. I don't, I don't expect, I don't sit here with some kind of like, um, and kudos to everybody who does, but like, I don't sit here and be like, oh, I want to be like this big or have this accomplished. I kind of sit here like, yo, if I've impacted somebody and they feel like, I've watched your content and it really like I've gotten some beautiful messages of people who've gone through some dark times and told me that they watched my stuff and felt better. And that to me is like, this is what I do it for. Honestly, of course you want, you know, of course you want like for it to get to a place where it pays you well enough. <laughs> you know, you're just like, hello, like if I could do this and pay the bills, amen. Hallelujah. Claro, um, claro, claro. But I think right now my grain in the sand and my staple is just if I if I impact one life in that, in whatever dark moment, if I've convinced people to keep going when they felt like giving up, then I've done my job. There you go. It's actually very much true. Um, sometimes with my show, it's kind of hit or miss. Mm -hmm. So I'm with you in terms of the contribution. It's like if somebody tells me they liked what I did for them mm -hmm. and it helped them genuinely and it's a good thing. Yeah. Rock on. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. Don't like, don't get don't get caught up by the likes <laughs> it's funny because like so i know people who've been like rita you know i only get like five likes on my videos and how do i get more and i'm like listen one you got to keep posting but two it's like if five people came up to you today and was like yo you look fire your whole day would be like oh you know how many people told me i look great five you know what i'm saying but we don't look at social media like that we see five likes and we're like i failed this video sucked <laughs> it's supposed to be x y and z but if five people came to you today and told you you look good, you'd be there on cloud nine. <laughs> so, again, anybody who's doing social or or feels this way, it's just like, yo, do it because you love it. And then people will notice that. Exactly. Like I said. Mm -hmm. And last but not least. So, um, in terms of your message, do you think you'll ever change your message? Do I think I'll ever change my message? Nah. <laughs> nah, I think, nah, I'm going to be a don't try me person to the day that I die. <laughs> I think my message will always be, again, mm -hmm. like, since my message is is body positivity in the sense of being like, yo, just, just love yourself regardless of what you do, that's never going to change. That is, I mean that wholeheartedly. And I tell people all the time, like, like, <laughs> I said, listen, if I make changes, don't sit here and act like I'm not allowed to because I definitely can. If I come here one day with coconuts that I <laughs> that I'll hear, don't sit there and be like, oh, but she said to love yourself. Yes, I did. I said, love any version of yourself. Don't <laughs> make up, no makeup, booty on fleek, <laughs> worked out. Just be real about it. <laughs> Hello. This is true. This is true. Be your authentic self. Just, period. Just That's love it. yourself and don't and don't let somebody take that from you. Exactly. It's, it's that message is for everybody. So, I think that social media. I think my number one message. This, I, I, if I could summarize it, would be this: social media has a has a great time making people feel like they are inadequate, as if, as if, um, like they'll make you want to be somebody else other than yourself. And that's why I love my message. Cause my message isn't don't be like me. Don't be like these celebrities you see be you in whatever form or fashion that is. And love that while the time you have here. Yes. And I think that's the best message we can give people today. Yes. So I'd like to thank you for being on the show. Thank and you. I appreciate it. So um, just in case for everybody, this uh, episode, I know as short as it is, um, it's going to premiere on YouTube first, and then it's going to be on Bronx and Eminem. Look out for it. 
on our platforms. And also um, this uh, interview will be part of your spotlight podcast. I'm sorry, your spotlight after show podcast. So I'm even doing that much. Ew, thank you. Ew, I'm Ew. trying. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So thank you, everybody, for joining me. And thank you to Miss Rita, a.k.a. Little Sasson Packets. Thank you so much, love. I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs>